This is my custom 3D printed phone case. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I made this. Let's go. So over the past week, I had this idea for this custom 3D printed phone case. I wanted a custom case that I could put my logo on and stuff and personalize it to me. When I first started this, the only filament I had on hand was PLA. And I decided, well, maybe I can try a phone case and make it out of that. But of course, as you might imagine, when I printed the phone case out of PLA, it's actually very hard. It's, it's very rigid. It's hard to put a phone down inside of the case because as soon as you put pressure on one of the corners to pop the phone into the case, they usually crack, or at least that's what happened to me with PLA. It just doesn't have enough flexibility like something like this does. So it was pretty obvious at this point that I was gonna need some type of flexible material. So I did a little bit of research and I came up with TPU as being my best option. A lot of people said that with the printer that I have, which is a stock Ender 3 Pro, that I was gonna have to make modifications to the extruder, possibly a different build surface. I was gonna have to slow the print way down. And it ended up being the case that I didn't have to do any of that. I was absolutely blown away. I can't recommend this TPU enough. If you haven't tried printing with flexible filament and all you have is a stock Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro, you should definitely check out this TPU and I'll link it down in the description. Let's take a look at this model that I modified in Tinkercad and we'll take a look at the Cura profile settings that I use as well. So for this project, I went ahead and got a base model phone case from Thingiverse. Um, all I'm doing here is adding the wallet section to my phone and in a minute, I'm gonna put the logo on top of that as well. So for the logo here, all I had to do was take the original PNG file and turn it into an SVG file. And I'll put a link in the description for the website that does that. And then after that, you can put that 3D file into any 3D program. Like I'm using Tinkercad here, but you can use that with any program. So in Cura, I only had to change a couple things. I set the material type to default TPU. I set the nozzle to 230 degrees. I set the build plate to 70 degrees and I turned supports on. And other than that, that's really all I had to do. It was a very simple setup for this print. I was really concerned that the support material might be really difficult to remove that was in between this little wallet part of my phone case and the actual back of the case itself. But luckily with the TPU supports, they were flexible. So I just stuck a knife in here and ran it along the edges to cut the strings that attached them to the model itself. And then I was able to pull the whole support structure right out. So that was awesome. This whole area had supports in it. All I had to do was separate the outside edge of the supports from the model right here and I just pulled the whole thing out. I could not believe how easy it was to remove this and it's really got me stoked on this phone case and I think I'm gonna do more flexible projects like this in the future. If you guys liked this video, make sure to hit the like button and let me know what you liked about it in the comments below. If you didn't like it, you can also hit the dislike button. Let me know in the comments what you guys want me to do next. I can cover any kind of tech topic that you're interested in. If I don't know about it myself, I'll do some research and try to put a video out for it. Right now, I only have one subscriber, so it's your chance to get in from the ground up. If you wanna see something covered, let me know in the comments. Right now, I don't have any comments, so even if I have one comment, I can make a video about it. So let me know what you wanna see. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one.